Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to add cinematics to your system wheels, so get ready. guys so first things first uh, the cinematic themes are essentially uh, videos uh, so instead of having your regular themes if you will uh, which you can find anywhere in your media folder and I'm gonna go to main menu here just because that's where many of the cinematic themes uh, live and have been created under themes you're gonna see uh, zip files which we still want a zip file, but what we're essentially gonna be doing is creating a theme, which is these themes uh, here, the, the zip files. And we're gonna essentially have a blank background. And what we're gonna do is have a video overlay on top of that. So that allows you to have essentially a video display in hyperspin. So just as an example here, if I go to hyperspin here, I, I just searched cinematics and this is one that came up uh, this is an Android test but you kind of get the point here so the video has an advantage over the standard themes because you can animate basically anything uh, it's literally a video so uh, the video will essentially play and it'll loop itself within the theme so let's go ahead and uh, figure out how we can set that up and what I'll do is I'll include just the, the standard theme that I've been using for my cinematics. But essentially, if you open up one of these, uh, what we're going to be seeing here is a zip file. And when you open it, you'll find a background, which the background is just a transparent uh, background. It looks like it's 800 by 600, and that will be stretched out. But since this is a blank canvas, uh, the stretching does not matter. So all we've got to do is, uh, you know, create this transparent background, and I'm using paint.net, and I'm using this uh, magic wand, and you would just click in here and then push delete, and then your transparency uh, shows this checkered board here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. That's all there is there, and then the theme XML. This is essentially created within Hyper Theme, uh, but you know you can just take this file and edit if you need to but I'll be posting this on the FTP, and I'm pretty sure it's on my uh, Mega Drive as well. So uh, as you see, the width and height is the most important. It's 1024 by 768, and your system will essentially stretch that out. Uh, that's the standard uh, dimensions for a hyperspin theme. Uh, you can't make it any larger, really. Uh, and everything else here, is set to default we're going to go ahead and close that out there's nothing more that needs to be done within the zip file there and you know you could ultimately uh, use hyper theme to do this uh, you just need the assets which is that background uh, file and you just add that to hyper theme uh, you know if you want to do it the old-fashioned way but I'm gonna be including the file. You don't need to do anything more after that. There's the background, you push plus, and that's when you upload that uh, background file. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out because that's uh, you know unnecessary here. So all we've gotta do is find your video. And since I'm in the main menu, I'm gonna go back out to that root folder. And we've got the theme. We've named that, let's say name, for example, name.zip. And then what we're going to do is go to the video folder and then you're going to find a video and name that name as well. So, uh, you know, the best theme that I could find for name uh, was uh, made by uh, uh, James Baker. He no longer makes these videos. I know there's been some history on that, but uh, bottom line, I, this, this theme is by far the best main theme that I could find and I, I use on my system so uh, 
I'll go ahead and play it. You've, I'm sure you've seen it. And it's just a preview of a number of games. The tune is catchy and the graphics look good. So that is what I'm using there. And I hope that, uh, you know, is enjoyable. I will include that on the FTP as well. And uh, yeah, you just drop it in your video folder here and it will display full screen on your system. And that is how you add a hyper cinematic to your system.